Alright vlog, I am starting. This is the birth vlog of our baby girl. I am checked into the hospital. Jay is going down to grab some food. We put the IV in. I have um, so many questions for the anesthesiologist um, to figure out about the spinal tap or spinal um, or the epidural. So we're waiting to see them, but it is about five o'clock in the morning and I'm here and we're just chilling. Jay is going to be sitting over there. This is the room that they'll take me to the OR. I am officially doing a C-section. For those of you that don't know, um, I am a spinal cord injury. I have a T10 uh, level injury and this is my first child. So she's in here right, right now. She's right here. Just so crazy. She'll be out in just a few hours, which is so crazy, you guys. I have so many, so many different emotions going on right now. <clears throat> I'm excited, of course. I'm nervous and sad because I really have enjoyed being pregnant. I've had her so close to me for, you know, the last nine months. And, uh, Today's the day that we finally get to meet her, and I have to share her with other people. It's like literally your heart just like running around outside of your body. So, a lot of different emotions, but let me take you guys along on the journey, and uh, we'll see what happens. Look at him just over here enjoying his food while well, I'm starving. Starving. This is future Chelsea from this video. There's a lot of footage that I wasn't able to capture just because I was really in the moment um, and we were learning as we go. So after um, speaking with the anesthesiologist, what she told me, which I probably will talk to you guys about later, um, she gave me a heads up that she wasn't really comfortable with doing a spinal tap or a um, epidural on my body, on my back, because of where my rods are. So they sent us um, up to like labor and delivery. Jay and I decided that I would try and just do a full natural delivery. So I would be induced um, with Pitocin. Um, so that is where we're heading next. We are waiting for our room to be available and check into our delivery room. Um, but we go on a little walk beforehand and grab some food because I can eat. We made it out for like 15 minutes. 15 minutes of fresh air. Yes. 15 hours, we've only got 15 minutes. Yes. Come back up though. Oh my goodness. We just got to, have you have a bed. <laughs> we just got to the room. Yay. She's gonna be in there. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, we're gonna have a baby. Wow. Look at this view though. Wow. All right, so I'm going to update you guys on literally everything right now. So Jay and I got to the hospital this morning at 4.30 in the morning, bright and early. And uh, we checked in. We planned on coming in and doing a C-section. And then I had a um, meeting with the anesthesiologist 
who kind of broke down to me a little bit more in detail of like if I could get an epidural or a spinal tap or if I would have to get put under. So the options that they gave me were if I do an epidural, they don't know if the epidural will actually work because of where my rods are. I have rods from L1 to L5. I have two screws in L1 and L2, none in L3, two in L4, and two in L5. And then I have a lot of scar tissue on my back. And so they said they weren't sure if the epidural will work. So then they said you could do spinal tap, but they don't know if the spinal tap will work because I can't get into the right position to arch my back and if it doesn't go both down and up the numbness then it could just go too far up which could affect my breathing and my lungs etc and then they said that if I do a c-section they would rather intubate me and put me fully under that was my one thing that it didn't want to happen I did not want to be put under I'm I don't feel like I need to so and they said once I do a spinal tap there's no going backwards like there's no going like oh let's go to labor it's either spinal tap and then uh, they put me under if it doesn't work so that was really scary and Jay and I talked about it and discussed like what we felt would be best for her and I and I just want really wanted to be awake for when she comes into this world so we decided to go into labor naturally and I'm going to do everything I can to push her out um so yeah so that's where we're at we got into our room a little bit ago they let us roll around the hotel the hotel no they let us roll around <laughs> the hospital um <laughs> hotel they let us roll around the hospital for like 15 20 minutes and then when we came back they brought us into our room which i'll show you guys and then we had some dinner and now we are relaxing there's jay's bed over there in all of its glory. <laughs> We've got a beautiful room. And the nurses told us, <laughs> the nurses told us that this was the room that Beyonce delivered her twins in. Like, that's crazy. Like, I what? Don't think they actually delivered in here, but this is the room that they were in. Oh, this is the room that they were in? Okay. okay. I think we go to another room to be the actual delivery. No, I think I deliver in here. Uh, no, I don't deliver in an OR. Unless they have to cut you open. Unless. Season. I'm going to deliver right here. Boo boo. It's happening right here. Oh, well, fuck you, <laughs> Okay. The nurse came in. They were switching over. So, anyways, a few hours ago, I was four centimeters dilated, and I am contracting every, like, three minutes or so. So, I'll be honest, I don't know what this vlog will look like or how fluid it will be, but I'm going to do my best to keep you guys updated on everything. But what time is it? So it's currently 7.30 and I think Jay and I are just going to relax. They're going to come give me some Pitocin and start the process. 7.30 at night. <laughs> Good night. How are you feeling over there? Okay, so it's the next day, and we are here. I am trying to get the baby to move down a little bit lower. I have pretty frequent contractions. I am on Pitocin right there, and then I have this little gas mask right here. Doesn't help that much, but it does take the edge off. And um, since I can't get an epidural or a, C or a spinal tap, so we've been sitting here. No. <laughs> and then uh, 
just trying to wait for my cervix to open more. As of right now, it's the 6th at 10 a.m. and I'm 7 centimeters dilated. If they come back in in an hour and I have not dilated, then we have to talk about actually doing the c-section and me going under and then if i am dilated then i'm on the right track so yep that's the update right babe yeah buddy <laughs>
So he's getting ready right now. Go. <laughs> ready? Yeah. Let's go make a baby. We already made one. Oh, all right. Let's go get it. future Chelsea. So what you just saw was Jay and I realizing that the oxygen was never even on. So we talk about the ventilator, um, like me being able to blow out, it wasn't sucking the air back in. So that was us realizing that it was never even on. So I labored for about 14 hours with absolutely no pain medicine. Um, so after we brought in the nurses and discovered that the pain medicine wasn't even on, the ventilator, ventilator wasn't even on, nothing, um, they checked me and I wasn't dilating past seven centimeters. So um, long story short, what happened next was they, um, another anesthesiologist team came in and said, hey, we're willing to try and give you a spinal tap. Um, you know, so you can be awake during the delivery, during the C-section. So they, I was really thankful for that because the other option was having to be put completely under to um, deliver Jalen. And I like was heartbroken. I was like hyperventilating, crying. Like I was so heartbroken until the anesthesiologist ke team came in and said that they were willing to try. Um, and what's the difficult part of me getting an epidural or spinal tap is the fact that I have rods in my back. So I have rods between L1 and L5 and they have to go in at L3 and you need to be able to like make a C with your back like curve to open up your vertebrae and because of my rods being fused, I wasn't able to like, I guess curve enough. So they brought me into the OR. Also one of my non-negotiables, I was like, you're not taking this child out of me unless, especially if I'm asleep unless my husband's in the room. Like I didn't want, I didn't want to, I, I just did not negotiable. Um, luckily my amazing nurse like av helped advocate for me. Um, so they took me back to the OR um, and they had me sit on the edge of the operating table and they were fishing around to try and find, um, you know, the right spot. And I was still contracting at the time. I had no pain medicine um, and I started about 10 minutes into it. Maybe it wasn't 10 minutes. It literally felt like maybe it was like five to eight minutes into it. I started dry heaving and started getting really sick. And long story short, I just looked at my nurse and my arms were like shaking and I was like, I was dry heaving and I was crying and she was like, are you good? And I was like, no, put me out. Like I'm done. I can't do this anymore. Like I give up. And uh, so they stopped, they laid me down, brought Jay in. I got to say hi and bye to him and <laughs> chat with him. And, and then they put me to sleep. He was the last voice I remember hearing. And then I woke up. Here she comes, here she comes. Here comes her head, her head is out. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. You look beautiful. Look at you. Hey. Hey. We are almost done. She's getting all bundled up. Ready for daddy to hold her. Okay, she here she comes. Right here.
loves you. She's just excited. She's like, hey. Oh my god. Hey. Oh my god, that was so Yeah. You gotta calm down, though, man. You're trying to be tired, right? You're right, honey? Sorry, sorry, sorry. I was going, I was like, just going back to the old room, yeah. Thank you so much. You did, you guys did, you guys did everything. Can I just see Grandpa for the first time? How you feel, Grandpa? Too big, can't talk. Wow. Wow. She's gorgeous, yeah. But you, you, I will in a second. Yeah, definitely. definitely. Look at you. Oh. Okay, let me hear it. Get them lungs going. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. You barely feel her. Yeah. She's beautiful. And I'm not just saying that. Oh, oh. You're beautiful. Oh, you're going to see me. Oh, you're going to see a lot of me. Yeah. Kind of, sort of. Yeah. Amazing. Oh, look at that. Those are dead. She's gorgeous. Show you. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna slide her. Let me unbutton this just a tiny bit, just so she doesn't get. Cool. Uh, hello. Let me go grab a piece. Thank you. I'm gonna have her off. All right. You got your portal. You go night night. You go night night with Grandpa. Um. Hi, baby. Come back. Hi, Auntie Bria. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Oh my God. It's okay. Little raisin. Look there you go. You're good. You're good. Good job, Jamie. Oh, her eyes are blue 100%. You're okay. There's no way. I hope so. You're okay. Hi, little mm. one. Do you know that you. Wow. wow. Hi, gorgeous. Sai bellissima. Wow. Aww. So precious. 
delicious. Oh Where my god. <laughs> Apparently. Oh my gosh. Uh, Who is this from? I don't know. You don't know. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh, the team. Who is this from? Stop. This is so Thank you. cute. Oh my gosh. And Carrie. And Carrie. Oh, oh, oh my so sweet. Thank you. Wow. Thank you so much. Oh, of course. Wow! How special. Awesome. Alright, so big update you guys. Everything is good. Um, baby girl made her arrival on January 6th at 1.59 p.m. She weighs 7 pounds, 4 ounces, and she came out so beautiful. Um, it was a very hard process to get to um, and I'm gonna like dive into that later probably at the end of the video um, how my actual birth plan went but the last 24 hours has been so beautiful we've been soaking in all of the moments okay so now we are present day so we ordered Postmates and I have been dying to have sushi so we're gonna have some sugar fish which I'm so excited for so Jay is going down and picking it up and I get to have sugar fish for the first time I'm so excited and Sammy is here Hi. and she's holding baby girl Jalen so she's so happy and then my aunt and my family and everybody brought these balloons and then Aunt Darcy my mom and grandpa got her some uh, stuffed animals so yeah, we're feeling lots of love. I, at the moment, haven't been able to update like Instagram or anybody really through the process because it's just been a whirlwind. Like, that's my word for this. Um, but I'm currently wearing an abdominal binder. Let me show you guys. To help with um, just like the looseness of my stomach and to feel a little bit more secure because I was coughing from the tube and uh, it just was hurting really bad and then moving side to side hurts really bad so haven't gone out of bed since getting into bed from the surgery so throat still kind of hurts from being intubated but we're good and she's so happy and she's healthy and beautiful she's so beautiful so I will be um, vlogging more at this point now that I'm a little bit more coherent um, and Jay and I have taken time the two of us to just soak in um, our first like moments with her so let's eat some sushi hey. Hi. oh my goodness you had to switch arms you're a whole seven pounds and four ounces oh my goodness. I know I know you got naked Aww. you got it it's here I'm gonna eat and she's sleeping. Yay! Dinner! Yay! Maybe so we need to have sushi again. Yeah! You get to have sushi again. <laughs> it's been like, so we long. had sushi! It's been so long. It's tasted disgusting <laughs> up until today. Up until today, yeah. <laughs> oh. No, she's fine. She's fine. <laughs> right, baby girl? She's not even phased. She's like, I'm good. The nurse just swaddled her so good. We need lessons. This is how we need to swaddle her. Like, she's so content. Okay, first time. I want to sushi. Anything else? You got it? I don't know. I think her sauces. Right? Oh, yeah, I might need help with the sauces. I just have one hand. I'm going to just pick up the fish and eat it. I know, I might need to. Yeah. First time having sushi in nine months. Cheers to you, boo-boo. Mm-hmm. 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 Is it like you remembered? Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm. It was worth it, though. Wow. Raw wow. fish. Yum. <laughs> you guys, I don't know... I don't know where I left off in this vlog, but I will be honest, I have looked disheveled. I have looked so gross the last like few
few hours. Um, it's been a whirlwind. I feel like I keep saying that, but if you know, you know. If you're a mother and you have been through labor and delivery, you know it is a whirlwind of so much going on. But I am not in my scrubs. I'm officially in my own outfit and we're going home today. So I will be vlogging more. Um, oh my God. Like being pregnant with a disability, I'm sure I'm gonna talk about this later, is insane. Like no joke. Um, I'm so lucky that there's things that I can't feel, but my body is responding in way different ways than I expected and that like the nurses and doctors didn't really know how to like expect. So it's been a learning process for everybody here. Um, but I'm gonna share like, I'm sure, I don't know if I'll share it before this video or like after this video, but I'll share like some, some really beautiful moments um, that I captured on my phone with you guys. But um, I'm gonna go through the process of like, labor delivery and all that with you guys like i said i think already at the end of the video um but ugh, like this is so crazy my ankles are so tight okay. yeah Whew, okay okay yeah it's fine i'm just gonna turn it back on for the photo oh my god like my like i haven't seen my legs this atrophied since I got pregnant. Mm -hmm. It's because of the compression things. Oh my god. Where'd my fat where'd my my things go? Cats. Where'd my calves go? I have no words. Where'd my calves go? My feet are not swollen. Holy moly, this is amazing. It's just my thighs are huge. Thunder thighs? I got some thunder thighs right now. Okay. Okay, do you know how to put this down? No, the like it shifts. I think it was all the way down. Yeah, just a little bit. Perfect. Oh my god, even just touching my calves, I'm like, ugh. Oof. Wow, my thighs are so heavy. Look at that. It's all that's going to down to your feet. Uh, it's gonna... Yeah. Damn, that sucks. Ooh. There you go. Nicely done. There you go. Okay. Nicely done. Wait, where'd my tie go? It's... It got twisted up in there. Oh no. I'll figure it out. I'll fish it out. Hands up. Hands up. We're going home. Hands up. We're going home, sweetheart. Careful. 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 No scratching the pretty face. No scratching the pretty face. Gotta put her mittens on when we get in the car. Aw. He's such a good dad. You guys, he took care of me so much. Like, have a baby with a man and then you'll really see how good they are. Like, I'm telling you. Like, he's, he took care of me. Took care of both of us. We're going home, we made finally. A baby. We made a baby. She's beautiful. She's happy. She's healthy. So, we're going to take her home for the first time. Excited. We're so excited. Can't wait. Can't wait for you to see your nursery. Jay works so hard on the nursery. You're going to fit in perfect. She's really bundled up. Here, you want to show him? She's really bundled up. It just looks like a like a white little teddy bear. This my this my teddy bear. <laughs> this is my life my my real doll. <laughs> but yeah, we're so excited and we'll answer a bunch of questions and stuff in another video about labor and delivery and postpartum and everything. But we're so excited, so let's go home. <laughs> See ya. heading over to labor and delivery. Labor and delivery to say hello and have them say bye to her. Look at the balloons. You walk so fast. You're gonna go say hi to everybody. Hi and bye. Yay!
the owl. We're bleeding. Yay! Baby's right there. <laughs> Daddy's putting her in the car seat for the first time. We've practiced this so he knows how to lock her in and everything. Okay, and then I'm gonna get in the car. Okay, so we are here. Her first road trip. We're taking her to In and Out. Look at her bow though. Taking her to In and Out because mom and dad are hungry. And uh, then we'll be home soon. So just keeping her literally in there. We got this little blanket. She's just good. She's just hanging out in there. How you feeling, Dad? Terrifying. <laughs> I drive home, pouring rain. That was so scary. I was like whiten up like, oh my god. It was so scary. He was like going so slow. We took all the side streets and everything, so. Alright, but we're going to get some food. We're starving. And uh, I, my incision is bleeding a little bit over here. I just wanted to pull this up and show you guys. But, yep, a little bit of seepage. So, yeah. Anyways, we're going to eat. I'm so hungry. rough did not know what to do and uh, we ended up switching her over to formula because I'm not producing enough or wasn't um, I'm still not enough for her to get back up to her birth weight but we got through it I was an emotional wreck this morning uh, went to her doctor's appointment and she's doing good and I feel a little bit better about everything now so She's doing good, and she's been sleeping and eating and pooping and sleeping and eating and pooping. What part do you feel better about just, like, feeling more informed? Um, I feel better knowing that she's getting the nutrients she needs, and she's eating. And however she eats, it doesn't matter. A fed baby is a happy baby. And I just want to make sure she's good. And that just, I think, gives me a little bit more peace of mind. You're just so peaceful. And you just rip ass on mommy. <laughs> You're just chugging and just dripping down you. Huh. <laughs> Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, wow, what a whirlwind. Honestly, like editing this and finishing it, like literally had both Jay and I, he would come in here like while I was editing it and you'd just be like in tears just looking at her and seeing how little she was. And it's definitely been a lot of different emotions the last few months. Um, I'm like really happy to be in a place where I feel a little bit more like back to myself I could I guess you could say uh the last few months have been like really really hard just adjusting but also so beautiful and so rewarding at the same time so um watching this back I was just like oh I wish I could hug myself like my past self anyways 
um thank you guys for watching i will be uploading a bunch more vlogs coming soon i have her her first newborn shoot that i vlogged um outside of the hospital and then i have a q a that i uh that I filmed that I'm going to be editing. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, please let me know if you guys have any questions in the comments below. I would love to like come on and answer more things. Um, I want this to be educational. I want you guys to feel like you learned something from my, you know, birthing experience. Um, it was very hard and I'm still like really sad that I didn't have the birth experience that I wanted, but she's here and that's all that matters. And I, it's my story. And that's like what I'm starting to realize is my birth experience is my story now. And it's just another thing that I can like say that I've gotten through. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. She's currently sleeping right now. So I was able to like finish editing it. So I'm going to go check on her, but thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next vlog. Bye.